Hi kids, welcome back to the class. Today we are going to discuss about the simple present tense. What are the simple present tense that we learn in this class? The simple present tense are the verb tenses. Verb tenses show the time, its action of the place. The simple present tense are the verb tenses. Even the tenses tells us about the time of action. The simple present tense tells us about the things that are always true. Look at here some of the examples. I eat breakfast every day. So we are using here eat is a verb tense. I read in bed every night. Or read is a verb tense. I always study after school. Study is a verb tense. Look at here verb forms. In simple present forms, there are two verbs. Base verb and the verb with S. Yes. Each subject has the verb. Subject can be pronouns. Which are the pronouns? I, you, he, she. It, we, they. These are the pronouns. So when we are create the sentence or when we are write the sentence, first we can see these pronouns before coming to the verb. Sometimes there are nouns and sometimes there are pronouns. Yes, sometimes there are nouns, people, places, things. Look at here, subject with the pronouns. How we are using the base verb? I after we are using the base verb. That means eat, study, write. So only it's a verb. I eat, you eat breakfast. I eat breakfast, you eat breakfast, we eat breakfast, they eat breakfast. Only the base verb. In this verb, we are not joining the S. Are you understand kids? And next, I walk to school every day. I after walk. You always drink coffee. We sometimes eat dessert. They study every night. When we are using verbs plus yes. Look at here, he, she and it. After the he, she and it, any one person name or any thing name or any girl or boy, after we are using the verb with yes. Look at here the examples. He reads the newspaper. Read is the verb, we are adding the yes. She takes the bus to the work in the morning. It sleeps on the couch every day. Look at here subject nouns. Base verb. Even using for the plural nouns also. The students take the bus to school. My parents drink coffee every morning. When we are using verb plus is, it's using after the singular also. The student walks to school every day. My dog always sleeps on my bed. We also use verb plus s non count. Snow falls from the sky in winter. My hair goes quickly. So let's practice now. Say or write simple present tenses. For example, she dash coffee every day. She drinks coffee every day. Now you can try. I dash the bus every day. Take. What should we write here? I take the bus every day. It is the correct answer. Good children. He always dash breakfast. 
he so ye after verb with s should come no he always eats breakfast very good they dash to the park on the weekend in bracket given walk you have to write in the correct form what they walk is the correct the student dash a book every morning student it is the singular we should use reads the student reads a book every day the students dash after school study the students means plural forms we are using there study enough children this much practice now let's see in the textbook activity look at here in textbook uh, read the following sentences look at first one lions hunt at night lions hunt at night hunt is a verb verb means it shows the action lion is the noun noun means you know no i explained a noun is the name of the place person or thing so when it is in plural form the verb will be only the verb the male lion is a big animal is is a verb form male lions do not usually hunt so these are the simple present tense it showing the action the next one look at here look at the next mean fill in the blanks using words from the box in bracket they given flies play cooks drinks baths the first one is rahul baths sorry rahul dash every day what he can do every day he baths he baths every day rita dash milk in the morning what she will do always drinks why we are adding verb with s yes? because of the rita and rahul they are the singular is it no singular noun after we are using verb with s yes. my mother dash food in sun sunflower oil so here the answer is cooks my mother cooks food in sunflower oil my mother it is the singular she is one only right fourth one the aeroplane dash in the sky aeroplane it is only one so we are using verb with s flies the aeroplane flies in the sky if it is the aeroplanes means here we can write only fly the aeroplanes fly in the sky okay fifth one they dash cricket in the evening they means many members oh, maybe are four members or five members 11 members in the cricket team there are 11 members right they means the plural form so they after it uh, they will come here come only the verb they play cricket in the evening the next main fill in the blanks with the right forms of the words in the brackets here in the video i shown no they given some practice no in bracket they given only one word we have to write the correct verb into the two blanks also the first one i dash with a pencil my sister dash with a pen i it is a plural form pronoun i said no pronoun pronouns hi he they we you so after this only the verb will come i write with a pencil it is the correct my sister it is only singular after the singular we have to use verb with s yes. my sister writes with a pen next one in bracket they given drink i dash milk my mother dash coffee 
I after drink should come. My mother after drinks should come. Third month play. I dash with toys. My cousin dash cricket. I means this is the pronoun after should come only the verb cousin. There is only singular. So after the singular noun, they should come verb with s. Next, walk. The fourth one is in bracket they given answer walk. We should write correct form. I dash fast by, but my grandfather dash slowly. I walk fast, but my grandfather walks slowly. I is the pronoun. So after the pronoun we are using only the verb. Grandfather is only singular person. So after singular noun we are using the verb with s. Fifth one in bracket they given like. I dash cabbage but my brother dash lady's finger. I like cabbage but my brother likes lady's finger. Are you understand kids? You can copy down these into your notes. I hope you are all understand this. Next class I will teach the new lesson. Ok kids. Bye. Have a nice day.